ladies, my dears, my dears, my divine, my fine feminine. What is going on with you ladies? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at you with your February energy in love in life in, in in general all right so um i want to just say shout out to all my people that have been giving well wishes to my family and i'm sorry for the delay in the video upload because y'all know i would have normally had it up way earlier than this um me and my family unfortunately ended up having the flu so thank you to everyone who just sent well wishes and um get well uh prayers for me and my family that was pretty damn scary um and also as you can see i have all new uh um what about say all new camera i do have a brand new camcorder and i do have new cards here i have seven new decks all to your love and support thank you to everyone that is booked personal and private readings thank you so much to everyone that sent love donation it made it possible that i could retire myself from from using it as a recording device and i actually have an hd camcorder now so thank you so much to all the love and support for everybody for all the prayers the well wishes and the support to me on my page I rate I greatly appreciate you um if anyone would like to book a personal or private reading you can do so by clicking that about tab there's a hyperlink that says scorpion reds tarot again it says scorpion reds tarot where you can book a personal private reading with me um and if you would like to give a love donation if this video resonated with you if it gave you some insight and clarity if you just want to send um a dollar or two to just say thank you you can do so the hyperlink is in in the description box for my PayPal okay let's get into the prayer okay dear Lord thank you so much for bringing me here for my divine feminine father God you know I've been waiting to do these videos um and I cannot wait to get back to doing my divine feminine daily bread come on father spur of fingers come on now so Thank you for bringing this here tall and strong. Um, I definitely feel like the Divine Feminine has been going through a little bit of ups and downs throughout the past couple of weeks. But I feel like they still remain strong because nothing worth having is not worth fighting for. And um, let me tell you something. When you are really making progress in your life, honey, when I'm trying to tell you the devil be trying to come out and show his tail. All right. But he don't know. He don't even know, Father. You know, that this is our year. Without fear. Okay? This is the year of the Divine Feminine in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Honey, we got our name all over 2019. Come on, ladies. Spur fingers. Girl. Spur fingers. Yes. Uh-huh. We cannot be touched and we cannot be stopped. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We do not like green eggs and ham. Not over here, honey. Father. Let me calm down. Hold on. Let me calm down, for Father. Father God. Please give the divine feminine. I hope that it's chills running all up and through their spine because they fine. Okay? Father, let all of them wake up up with the spirit of Oshun. Please let them know that they are a goddess. That there is roses that rest at the bed of your feet, honey. Roses, okay? That you are a goddess. That you are a queen. That you are beautiful on the inside and out. You have a certain elegance and grace to yourself and keep your head high and carry yourself that even in your lowest of low day you still get up i don't care if it's just your little lipstick if it's your little rouge if it's a certain little smell you like to put on your special shoe i don't care your little silk scar i don't care what it is Make yourself feel beautiful. Treat yourself every day. We are goddesses and we have to carry ourselves and pamper ourselves and live in that light every day. If we treat ourselves well, the universe will treat us well as well because we are teaching the universe how to treat us. All right. Father God, please give the divine feminine power, strength, encouragement, wisdom energy father please give us the energy needed to continue to walk walk our walk with our back arched and our head held high father please give us the energy and the strength father to put that 
stiffness in our back and that switch in our hips and that glow in our flow. Father, give us guidance for February. Thank you, Father. Come on. Come on today, Father. Give to the divine feminine guidance for the month of February. Thank you. Come on. Please give me overall guidance in regards to the divine feminine for the month of February 2019. Thank you so much, Father. Please be present in this reading. I thank you so much for all your guidance in the past, present, and futures. Because, Father, I'm going to try to say, if you know, I don't want to cuss. I want to say, nigga, we may. <laughs> Come on, lady, say it with me. Nigga, we may. All right. Father, give me some guidance. Father, give me some guidance for my divine feminine, my beautiful queens. Woo! My beautiful every ebony and ivory queens. My beautiful ebony and ivory queens. I'm not okay. 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 Slipping away. You know what? I think that's it. I just think you just want to leave off when it's time to come out. All right, Divine Feminine, I feel like you might have been getting some encouragement for somebody to help you, you know, possibly go over the thoughts and the ideas of moving back to something in your past. And I definitely feel like you are no fool. You are no fool. You said, no, I'm giving zero energy to that. Okay. Yeah. I might be a fool right now, but I'm a fool moving forward. I don't care if it looks like I'm about to jump off this cliff. You are so fixated in this flower, this destiny of yours, okay? You ain't even tripping. Like, you see the dog looking like, where are you going? Like, what's going on? And you just like, man, I'm good out here. You know what I'm saying? It's like... Even if you fall, you know God going to catch you and you're going to land on your feet. You know what I understand? Divine Feminine, she is just in her zone. She's in her zone on her own and she don't care. Look, little dog, you can follow me if you want to. You understand? But I'm not asking nobody to follow me on this journey. I'm good on my own. Like, I don't care about nobody but me. You hear me? Certain transitions and transformations has come certain things have been shaken breaking and have fallen down to the wayside and it's just something that the divine feminine gracefully gracefully welcomed okay she knew that this was coming and she welcomed it because she had faith and she knew that this structure had to come down i didn't have enough strength for it to come down my uh uh on my own, I walked in faith, and that carried me, regardless of some, if people thought I was foolish for leaving and tearing down this foundation and moving forward. I said, you know what? I don't live in this space of this heartbreak anymore. It's not even present. Mm -mm. This card represents literally the heart with a bandage over it and the swords being lifted out so this shows you your point in your spot in this transition okay divine feminine like you were literally over this heartbreak and something abruptly did come through and it changed your life and i think you were very appreciative for the shaker something came and i want to say maybe um a new job came in for some of y'all that even if you wanted to stay grounded in that foundation or, you know, I don't even think you're around for any of that to even be habitable right now. If that makes any sense. I feel like 
um because not all of the time like um the tower card represents like death and destruction and despair and things like that um it's just a certain change that you didn't see coming um i feel like for some of you guys I feel like for some of you guys that you were moving forward and you got to the shore and someone that you knew from your past was trying to like tell you like man you went so and so y'all just need to get together and you like nah motherfucker no we don't get the fuck out of here with that bullshit like I, I didn't come this far to turn back to go back to bullshit look at these choppy waters and all this stuff i'm all the way at shore i'm away from that that is far removed from my mind my heart my body and my soul i don't know why the fuck you over here but you better go on somewhere like i tell you when you be on your path the devil be lurking and they will come in the shape form and fashion if any motherfucking body is people that you know people could be your own best friend and you could be looking at this motherfucker like bitch you know me better than that you know everything that i went through to get all the way over here to to get to, to the side of the shore and you want to sit up there and try to convince me that i need to go back to the side are you crazy girl get the fuck out of here <laughs> like get the fuck out of here and you kept going and you kept moving on your faith and you relied on your faith only and something abruptly in the form of a brand new job opportunity came and you didn't see this coming you were not prepared for you to actually get offered this. You see what I'm saying? And it put you in a situation where it forced you. Now you're moving. You know what I'm saying? So it's like even if you wanted to sit back and entertain the shit, you can't. You don't have any choice but to let go of that bullshit and move forward. You don't have any choice but to move forward anymore. And all of that hibernating and being withdrawn and being to yourself, you're finally in a new place, in a new space where you can come out and be you and all of the lessons and everything that you've learned. Like, you can't really implement that into the real world. Like, you don't have to hide and have to heal and searching for inner guidance and insight within. Like, I feel like you've... You've healed, number one. You accepted the change, number one. You moved on faith, number one. And you didn't go back, number one. So the Lord said, God bless you. God bless you. This tower is not a bad tower. This tower is not a bad tower. This is an abrupt change that's coming into your life because... You 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 did what you were supposed to do and you released that heartbreak and now it's time for you to come out, my beautiful queen. Okay? My beautiful queen, and it's time for you to come out. Don't seclude yourself in doors no more. It's time for you to come out, beloved. Alright. Please get the divine and guidance and love for February. Let me go get my music. Hold on, girl. Yes, come on, Divine Feminine. I'm liking this energy, girl. Give the divine feminine guidance and love. Engagement. Come on, divine feminine. God fight. Girl, didn't I tell you something abrupt was coming, bitch? You ain't even letting your friends help you because your friends try to talk you going back in that bullshit. You said go on somewhere, bitch. Come on. Trying to be in the way because you deserve love, girl. Hey, 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 come on, Divine Feminine. Come on, shake your hips with me, girl. Come on, girl. Yes. Ah, come on, girl. You deserve it. Come on, girlfriends. Just know it. Is that all we doing? Girl, it is your fucking world. 
get to know each other, get to know each other, and please know that this motherfucker ain't nothing like that past life lover. Come on, Fall, but let me move this, because, listen, this is what I want y'all to know. This is what I want y'all to know. When you move on faith, and you don't give a fuck about what nobody got to say about you and how crazy you look. They think you look like a fool. Guess what? That pays off for who? For you. Because ain't nobody can't nobody tell me about my God. And, and listen, I know a lot of you guys, it, you know, I don't pay attention to the ignorance that be in my comments. But a lot of y'all, I know a lot of y'all do not... Um, necessarily have the same faith background as I am but just know God is all is all it doesn't matter what your religious background is it doesn't matter if you pray to Allah Jah um, if you um, a Buddhist or whatever it's God is the same thing just with different names it doesn't matter who you pray to it's all about your faith and you know who you pray to and you know that your God got your back no matter what you call him. And as long as you walk forth in faith, honey, you will always be protected and you will always be guided. And God knows your heart first off and foremost. And as long as you move right and if you do your work, God will always bless you with everything that your heart desires. Just know that. And I told you and I meant it. I knew it that this tower is not this thing that you did not see coming this abrupt change it's not nothing bad i told you i told you a tower and then releasing this hot no baby and you coming out no 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 no, no. that's because true love is coming to you baby True fucking love is coming to you, baby. I, I think I said it in the other videos. I don't know why I'm saying like by April or something. I feel like April is the month for some reason. But you, your relationships is, is, is going to a higher level of engagement. Do you hear me? It's ascending, honey. Oh, look at this. Look at them. Look at him loving on her. Look at him loving on she. Look at them loving on we, a girl. Oh, yes. Honey, don't let your friends help you with this one. Follow your own intuition. That's what you went through this whole phase right here, being the high priestess, you know, keeping yourself withdrawn, going within and stuff like that. You know exactly what you need to do. You know how to guide yourself. Don't listen to these bitches because do these bitches have a healthy relationship? No. Don't listen to these bitches because who, whoever this bitch was that was trying to talk you into going back to your fucking ex just because she seen that nigga at Walmart looking sad? Tell that bitch to go on somewhere and get her fucking life together, okay? Don't nobody care because we seen that nigga in them fucking Walmart looking sad, okay? Okay? Girl, we don't care. Fuck. Okay. We deserve love out here. We deserve true loving. Ooh. Ooh. You. Ooh, girl, you deserve love. Who do you? Girl, you deserve love, girl. No, it's your world, girl. This one, you need to get to know him. Get to know him well, girl. Get to know his... Girl, get to know him. Get to know him. You know what I'm saying? Talk to him a lot. Talk to him a lot before you give him the goodies. You know what I'm saying? I could see y'all, like, y'all just, like... It's winter time and stuff like that. Like, I could just see y'all at the Poconos and shit and the little ski lift just sitting up there talking and shit. And y'all supposed to be jumping off the ski lift, but y'all too busy talking and shit. Motherfuckers like, can y'all get the fuck off? Like, what the fuck are y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, y'all like to go to, like, the little first wheel and shit, you know, downtown D.C., whatever. Y'all from my city. Y'all like, it's cold as shit. Y'all up there freezing y'all ass off just because y'all weird as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just like to spend a lot of unnecessary time with each other. Y'all just be cuddling and shit. Y'all some cuddlers and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, go ahead and, you know, cuddle up. Cuddle up. Cuddle up. Because this one give you that time and attention and that affection. This one is affectionate and loving. And he, ooh, he just, ooh. He just, oh, he ain't nothing like your little dumbass ex and stuff that ain't want to go nowhere, and ain't want to do nothing romantic, ain't want to show you, like, true love and romance, like, ain't want to post no pictures of y'all together online, like, they embarrassed to show people that y'all together know, girl, this one ain't nothing like that fuck nigga, girl, come on, come on, let me calm down, father, whew, give me guidance, 
Additional guidance and love for the Divine Feminine. Thank you so much. All right. This is some positive love and energy here. Thank you so much, Father. Please give the Divine Feminine guidance. I just seen that twin flame card. Come on, Father. Come on now. I've been trying to tell these girls that this man that you was dealing with in your past is an ass. And he is not your divine masculine, okay? That was not your twin flame lover. I don't know who that was. Ooh, the message has been received. Girl. I, who, who? Who you choosing? Me? Me? We? Girl, the message has been received. The Lord said, I heard you, boo. I know. You you want you want love? I got you. You want commitment? I got you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Come on, Father. Come on. Please give us some additional guidance and love. Come on, Father. Zoma. Huh? The tribe. This one is that. I don't. Uh. I'm not afraid when I hear your name. Smile up on my face. It don't matter the time or the place. Cause you make it all better now. Says the tribe. Ascending. Ooh. Ooh, I think I get it. Divine Feminine, come on now. Don't wear a mask. And make, okay. Gather now. Let me sing my song. Okay, listen. So the message has been received from the Divine. They know that it's true love that you deserve. And that's what they're sending you. True love that is ascending to a higher level of engagement that is truly based on a solid commitment. All right. I feel like that this person may come with a tribe. Okay. I feel like it, 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 it don't matter what side this card flipped on around. It's a, it's a tribe. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like. This person might have a tribe, and on this side of the tribe card, it's a little darker at the top here. And I, I, I'm going to take that as this person is coming with a tribe, and that you might have some issues with the child's mother due to some jealousy or whatever, and especially. The way that the kids are going to connect with you and going to take a connection with you, even though that's going to happen over some time. But I do see um, some gray clouds over this tribe. However, I am going to encourage you to do not let it get in the way because nothing worth having is going to come easy. So if there is anything at all that you might have a little bit of an issue with. I feel like it might be a jealous mother of the tribe of the, you know what I'm saying? It might be a jealous mother, okay? But regardless, your relationship with this person is ascending. It doesn't matter. And the fact that this person is including you into his tribe, you know, that this person loves you like that too in make you a part of this tribe, I feel like that's the thing that's going to bother this lady. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because I don't, I don't, I, I feel like um, this person's kids is very important to them and you really mean something to them for them to introduce you to the tribe. And that's why that is right below the engagement. So this is most definitely going to ascend again and that's what this says here your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment you have ascending and commitment right here to clarify that and to let you know that your message has been received so how you like them apples and that this person is going to be a part of your life for a long time 
Because this person is going to be a part of the tribe. Regardless if other people like it or not. They're going to have to get the fuck over it. This relationship is ascending. And this person truly knows that you are the divine feminine. And guess what? When you come to them and this person might even use that word divine feminine. It's going to blow you the fuck away. You're going to be like, word? Like, you know about that? He'll be like, yeah. Like, I feel like you're my soulmate. Like, I feel like you're my divine feminine on some real ass shit. That's just going to blow you the fuck away. And it's going to be like, it's going to unmask you. And I feel like you are going to be at a point where you are just like... You want to be so blown away. I feel like you can't even hide the, the fact that you are just blown away by this love. That you are just astonished by this person and that level of commitment and the, the, just the whole feeling. Like you can't even hide the way you feel in this situation. And don't try to hide. Do not hide your feelings and your emotions whatever you feel this is the one that you can truly talk to and be open i feel in your last relationship you felt like you had to hide and protect how you truly feel because you didn't want to get hurt you don't have to do this one you don't have to do this one like that this person is a grown-ass man and i don't feel like there is any childish behavior with this one okay i feel like this is someone that you can Look at it as a man, but also kind of have that inner child playfulness. But for real, this is a grown-ass man. This man is not playing around. This man really loves you. And this man really, really wants this to go somewhere farther. I almost don't even want to do the shadow deck. Give me some guidance in regards to anything going on in the shadows. With the divine feminine that she needs to work on during the month of February. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please give the divine feminine guidance. Okay. Or what they need to work on in the shadows for the month of February. Thank you so much. Don't be judgmental. Truly walk away. And you're no longer haunted. You're no longer haunted by that old relationship no more. That's a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much. I feel like, honestly, Divine Feminine is not looking back at that past relationship with judgment. You're not looking back at that past relationship with, with judgment. And you truly walked away from it. Yeah, and you're and you're undisconnecting yourself from the world. Is there any additional guidance that you have? And guard it. Okay. Okay. So this is the information that Spirit has for you for what you need to work on in the shadows. You know, certain things that you in the you know, the deep dark inside, things that you face when you're at home alone in your skin by yourself you know what i'm saying like because everybody can put on this front like they okay and they all strong but when you're sitting at home alone in your skin by yourself like only you knows what you deal with in the you know what i'm saying in in, in the inside so this is just some guidance in regards to what you might deal with in the in the shadows and in the darkness of the inside of yourself so um i feel like you have honestly released the judgments that you might have had towards your ex. I felt like in the past you held harsh judgments towards him. All right. And you resented him for you having to walk away from this situation. And you were haunted by this relationship because you were trying to move on. But for some reason, it was like. It was like hoovering over you and you felt like I've walked away but I'm still being haunted by the situation and you have finally and I mean absolutely finally because you've released judgment I feel like because you held that harsh judgment over your ex in the situation that's what made it so 
hard for you to truly physically spiritually and emotionally disconnect and walk away you were physically not in that space but it was still haunting over you and now it's completely removed itself from your energy at all it no longer haunts you anymore because you've released that judgment and i feel like you honestly forgive your um ex for everything that happened because if you didn't forgive him and if none of this shit wouldn't have happened you would not be where you're at right now i feel a lot of you guys are um are business owners now you guys have started foundations you guys have met new friends that um have helped you throughout this transition you have like really blossom and grown. Some of you guys have changed your fucking careers. Some of you guys have moved. Your lives are like completely better and more free. And I do feel like you don't, you're not as judgmental as you used to be because you came through this transition and you survived this relationship. You don't judge people as harshly as you used to anymore because you look at it like, man, anybody that got the strength to walk away from what the fuck I walked away from and endure what I did, I can't, I can't say nothing bad about you, because my ex and that relationship haunted me for a long fucking time, it haunted me for a long time, and I finally am able to say it's not lingering over my life anymore, I have no doubt in my life, you understand what I'm saying, I have no doubt that it's time for me to move on. And however, I do feel like you have no doubt in regards to your past situation. And you're glad that it's not haunting you anymore. But however, there is doubt in the future. But what Spirit is trying to tell you is you need to work on that doubt because what is being presented before me, honey. Don't put no doubt on that. Because if you put doubt on this and you think like, oh, it's not going to happen to me, it won't. Got to be like, oh, for real? After all of this work, after everything? Look, after everything we done been through to get you to the shore, I done got you all the way here and I'm placing this new love energy around you and you about to doubt me? Oh, well, shit, we can pack this shit back up and you can go on back to where you was like, because... I ain't do all of this shit for nothing for you to be doubting me. You feel what I'm saying? So, you need to work on that. Continue to walk on faith. Continue to walk on faith. God got you. You think he would put all this goodness on this table for no reason? For a season. It ain't for no season, honey. It's for a reason. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. You ain't see this coming, but have no doubt. God know what he doing. It is time for you to reconnect. You've been disconnected. Like I told you, the high priestess in the reverse. God wants you to reconnect yourself. Get your energies charged back up, okay? I understand that you are guarded right now, but my butterfly is time to soar. Okay? You can still be guarded and protect yourself and, you know, not be disconnected. You see what I'm saying? Because what you've been doing is you've completely disconnected yourself from the world. And you've been keeping yourself secluded and inside. And it's time for you to stop living in this doubt. You did your work and this shit ain't haunting you no more. That's good. Don't live in this doubt. You hear me, sweetness? It's time for you to get back out. Get back out. You can still guard yourself and still soar like a butterfly, beloved. You understand? Just use your brain. Use your brain. Have discernment. About the type of people that you allow in your life. All right. We're going to go into the shadow and light oracle. Y'all are going to have a long video. Because I know y'all are my ladies. I like to give y'all all of these extra decks and love. I know some people don't like long videos. But maybe I'm not the reader for you. Um, I like to go deep. I like to go deep. Especially for my monthly videos. Because y'all only get like one or two of these a month. So yeah. The Divine um, Feminine Daily Bread videos, they be long too, but I'm trying to make them shorter. So, I'm probably changing the format on those. Spirit, please give me 
a shadow and light oracle card for the divine feminine for the month of February. Two. Ooh. Oh, do I have to read two? I guess I do. I said it's going to be a long video. It surely is about to be a long ass video. Lord help me. Alright. Okay. Wing Seer. Okay. You see clearly clairvoyance. The Wing Seer is an oracle angel. And being who can see the weaves of energy and thus the way events are set to unfold if the current en energies and paths are followed. She then sends you your message clairvoyantly through your ability to see clearly. Although your visions may seem anything but clear, as you grow to trust your own clear seeing moments you will have brighter and brighter flashes of light you will be able to see exactly what is going on within a situation in a flash the winged seer speak as so many people hide truths even from themselves it can be hard to receive a visit from me because i will help you see when someone is camouflaging or half telling truths and you will also have the insight the insights that seem to come from supernatural sources. It is as if you have changed sight. You can see further, higher, and more deeply within. You will be experiences with flashes of the future and sudden understandings of the past. And you will be able to foretell likely outcomes. I am the eye of Ra, recreating your future and the Adrinka. I guess the protective eye that watches over you while you sleep. And if you follow through on what you now clearly see, there will be illumination, victory and wisdom. Trust the sacred sight, the true meaning. OK, the clairvoyant abilities is being this being is enhanced by the winged seer. Your clairvoyant abilities are. Are, is being enhanced by the wing seer. You may you may be able to tune in and remote view, almost be able to see behind doors and into rooms, and receiving images that let you know what someone is doing without actually being there at the time. And all these experiences will either empower or scare you. You have asked for more information, asked to discover what you need to know. Now that information has come to you, you cannot logically explain it. It is important now more than ever to be honest about what you see but most of all be honest about this with your own self so like i said don't hide behind a mask because when this man comes to you and he says that word divine feminine don't hide behind a mask be open and you can i feel like this one is the person that you can talk about what you know and then you might be surprised this person might know a little bit more than you. But I feel like right now you are being blessed with the skill of discernment and the skill of sight. This situation that you went through with this person from the past, you leaving that situation. I mean, for you to be able to tell your friend, like, bitch, you tripping. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not using your intuition if you can't see that this is, you understand? So you are better... You are able to use your judgment better and not be so judgmental towards other people that really don't deserve it, but to really use discernment and judgment. Okay, so let's see the Eclipse Mermaid. A powerful energy shift. Okay, the beautiful Eclipse Mermaid floats in a wild red sea watching Feeling a very powerful energy shift taking place. She is bathing in the energy and interacting with the energy. But she is not trying to direct it or 
force it in a particular direction. She is already prepared and is moving with it. But there is no effort involved. She is staying quiet and still. Very calm but vigilant and observant at this moment. Her eyes reflect the energy of the eclipse. And within her, all that has been hidden will be emerging into the open. What she will become depends on what she has hidden away. Eclipses are a great time of shifts and awakening. And sometimes unwanted and uninvited change. When the eclipse comes through your life, simply acknowledge that cosmic events are taking place and it will have a ripple effect throughout the world. Allow what needs to be emerged to come out because during this powerful time, nothing can remain suppressed, hidden, or underneath anymore. I told you that power moment is a big energy shift coming in your life and you just don't see it. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor and it's not easy. The purging and the changes of energies and everything, things that do not need to be there are releasing their self, okay? But that wheel is turning in your favor. That's me talking. Now, let me get back to the book. The Eclipse Mermaid speaks. The energy shift you are about to experience needs preparation. No effort, no force. But it helps you to be ready. Expect amazing dreams. Possible clairvoyant experience. We just talked about that. And please do watch addictions. Gossip. The internet. And the kinds of foods you eat. And who you spend time with. And how they influence you. These are all very significant. When this being comes to visit you. This is a. Um. Magnificent time to start a new health regimen, particularly if you are wishing to reduce addictions that are unhelpful. Remember, there is no real avoiding life in the planets and the galaxies and energy shifts. You can work with these eclipses and maximize their amazing powers, or you can do nothing and their changes can overwhelm you. The worst choice is to fight the energy and refuse to try something new. What will you choose as your own personal eclipse approach? Like I'm trying to tell you, the change is coming. The change is coming, but it's pushing you to this new transition to open up your life to this level of love right here. Because your love, your love life and your life in general is ascending. And I told y'all before, a lot of y'all are moving, y'all are starting new jobs. Y'all whole lives are ascending to a higher level. Period. Period. Okay. Where the hell I leave off at? Okay, what am I talking about? It says, um, it said there could be revelation scandal. Oh, did I read that? Oh, okay. Hold on. The, the true message. Come on, hold on. I, where where I'm doing? Okay. A deeply emotional, energetic shift. A keen to the powerful full eclipse is taking place in your life. There could be revelations, scandals, and truths being told too at this time. And you may feel the urge to change what you eat, how you dress, how you look, how you express yourself, what classes you take, who you hang out with. Could that friend that you need to get the hell I was about to tell you, you need to stop chilling with her. Who you hang with. And what you thought you wanted to do with your life. If you are on the path. Your own soul path. Everything takes place and will be good and right. Even if it's disruptive. And if you have not placed your feet on your path. This time may feel more disruptive. Tumultuous and surprising. Any change at this time. Will bring you closer to who you are. It is up to each one of us. To choose how we move through this eclipse. Only one thing is certain. Resistance. Is it fruitful? Okay. So, y'all see what they just had to say. Your sight is being opened up. And there are big energy shifts coming in. So, that is confirming this tower. But like I said, your intuition is being enlightened. And you are moving forth in faith, in faith no matter what nobody says. And you are welcoming this change in your life. You're welcome in this change in your life. You have completely released this heartbreak. And you are closing that chapter to that. And you are ready to come out and 
light of this eclipse and you are ready to start your new destiny okay so let me just give you one clarification because it looks like we have definitely went into some serious deep time here and I don't want to keep y'all too much but I can do whatever the spirit moves me to do and I do hope that y'all enjoyed this reading I really do for giving me your time period I really appreciate it alright and y'all just know pay attention after this gets uploaded that following week starting Monday we back at it with the Divine Feminine yeah, closing that chapter, releasing that burden. New messages of love. It's not even just new messages of love, just messages of coming from people in situations. I feel like I I, I really feel strongly like a lot of you guys are having yep new beginnings. Thank you. You guys are having, okay, so Divine Feminine has woken up. That burden that they were carrying, you know, they were carrying this burden because on the flip side of this coin here, you see if they just take a few more steps, they're real close to the city, right? So maybe, just maybe, you could have made it there. But guess what? This is showing you. You know how long you've been carrying this burden? You know how crazy you look. This statue right here is a statue of him. He's been carrying this burden so long. He has no idea that it's been cemented in stone. That this is how people look at you. You're just easy to take on and carry other people's burdens. And that you'll just allow people to put any type of burden on you. And you'll just carry it and carry it and carry it. Because in your mind you have wishful thinking. And your passion is burning in you. You just know you're going to. You don't care how hard it is. You're going to carry it over there. But at the end of the day. What if you die and you never get over there? Your whole life was spent being nothing more than this and that's what this card is trying to show you you've you've you realize that no matter how close i might be it's not worth i don't want to be seen and known as this for the rest of my life i'm not trying to be this person's fool this person i'm just allowing this person to put this burden on my back and, and I'm just out here looking crazy. No, nah, that's not how everybody's going to look at me for the rest of my life. There are too many new messages of things that are emotionally fulfilling coming to me. Not only is this new messages, these are this is a page, this is someone young. So this is someone at the child stage almost. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person... It's sending a message of new beginnings of stuff that are going to be emotionally fulfilling for you. Okay? And you see this fish right here. Fish, you know, they said that's like someone having a baby. You understand? So these are going to be new messages of something that could create new birth. You feel me? So. And also... These messages, like I'm saying, these messages don't necessarily have to do with just love. I definitely feel like it may be a new birth of a development in regards to your career. Something that will really make you emotionally fulfilled. Like, I feel like you guys are really trying to change and move your life ahead. And you are going to receive those messages. And that's because you burnt down. It took that strength right here. It took strength in you. And you fought with that darkness. Like I said, that darkness right there. You fought with that darkness and you burnt down that old foundation. And you wielded a new way for you. You wielded that foundation. You wielded that new beginning with your strength and your determination. On the flip side of this card, the sun is setting on the new beginning. This bird is about to soar away. You don't see this person putting that muscle in his arm the way you do. You see what I'm saying? The way you did. And this is indicative to that tower moment. 
that shakedown for that new beginning. And like I told you, this time moment ain't bad. Ain't bad. Because you strong. God built you for a tough or a fucking reason. He ain't choose any of your body to go through this. Do you understand what I'm saying? It is the takeover. The wait is over. You are the divine feminine. This here is the empress. You are the empress. You are mother. You are the creator. Do you hear me? This is the ten of pentacles. You will most definitely find success in love and commitment and a solid relationship. A solid a work environment, a solid home environment. And as you can see, this is someone standing in front of someone. These is a, this is a couple standing in front of someone that they want to bless their union. Someone that they respect that they want to bless their union. So that is showing you clearly that your love life is ascending to a higher vibration. Because this man that you've met that's coming to your life, you like this person enough to bring him to your papa. Um, you know, your grandpa, who I, I don't know, I feel like someone calls somebody papa. You bring them to your papa. To introduce them to your family. Do you hear what I'm saying? Remember I said the tribe. The tribe. And then this is the two of cups. It is the two of cups. And I feel like you guys are probably going to meet each other. And y'all going to spend a lot of time with each other at night. Y'all are going to spend a lot of time with each other at night. Under the stars. I think I said that earlier. Did I say that earlier? I don't know. But it don't matter on this side or on this side of the fence. It still represents love. And I feel like this is a love that y'all are going to take the time to nurture. Y'all are going to take the time to really develop and nurture. And I, and I couldn't believe I said that y'all are going to really get to know each other. And y'all are going to spend a lot of nights with each other. Non-sexual, but just like seriously spending a lot of time with each other getting to know each other and i feel like every day y'all are going to fall deeper and deeper in love with each other because you are clear you know exactly what you want you know exactly what you want and you're going to be triumphant in it all right so divine feminine i love you i thank you so much for all of your love and support if anyone would like to book a personal private reading y'all go ahead and click that about tab and go ahead and hit that hyperlink all right and y'all check me out. If this video resonated with you, if it gave you guidance, if it gave you insight, if you was in here screaming and acting a damn fool with me, you want to drop a dollar, a dollar or two in the PayPal, go on here because I got me another deck that I got my eye on, honey. That one that got Erica Badu in and I got to get it, honey. I got to get it. All right. So I love you. Mm -hmm. I will see you, Divine Feminine Daily Bread. And I know a couple of y'all will also be in the Divine Masculine checking out what's going on with him as well. So I love did you, and I love you. And I shall see you soon, my dears. Peace. Bye-bye.